Nikon just released firmware 1.10 for the Z6 III, and one of the changes listed is an improvement in shadow noise for N-Log. So I've gone ahead and recorded some videos between the old version and the new version, and we're going to look to see if the noise has been improved, specifically the flickering issue. First, I'm showing a black frame. So this is a video taken with the lens cap on. This is at ISO 5000, which is the worst ISO for the Z6-3's flickering issue. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this black frame video, which I've increased the brightness so you can see the, the actual noise in the video. So we're going to play this through. This is the old version. You can see the flickering on both the waveform and the actual video. And here's the new version. So visually, the flickering has been significantly reduced. So again, here's the old version. And then the new version. Not sure how well that's going to come across after YouTube's compression. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the waveform here so you can see the bouncing more clearly. So that's the old version. And the new version. Much more even, both visually and on the waveform. I'm going to go ahead and look at the vector scope as well. The old version. and the new version. The vector scope still flickers a bit with the new version, but visually it looks fine, so it's just a bit more sensitive to the changes in the, the black levels. All right, now that we've looked at a black frame video, let's go ahead and just actually look at real video. This is ISO 5000 N-Log with a straight Rec. 709 conversion with the DaVinci tone mapping and a little bit of shadow boosting. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a bit. I'm going to switch this back to the waveform. Again, this is waveform that's zoomed in so we can look at the shadow portion. And we'll go ahead and play this through. Actually, let me zoom in over here. Start this again. This is the old version, new version. Much better for the flickering, almost completely gone. Old version. And also, there's a green tint to the older version, so they've done a bit more to balance out the, uh, the black level tonality, and that's the new version. Old version. New version. Let me find a different area to focus on so we might get a better view of the noise here. Old version. New version. Much, much better. Go ahead and look at the vector scope as well. Zoom in here a bit. It's the old version, new version. Again, vector scope still jumping around, but visually, video is much improved. Yep, new version. It definitely looks much better. I'm going to check to see if there's any regressions involved in their remediation of this flickering. I don't see anything that's obvious, but I'll be looking pretty closely just to make sure that whatever they've done to correct the flickering doesn't introduce any other side effects that'll be visible within the video. But this firmware just dropped, and so far it looks great. So I wasn't expecting Nikon to ever actually address this. They, I don't think they've ever publicly even talked about the issue, even though it's been reported in multiple venues. This is a welcome surprise from Nikon.